Good evening and thanks for joining us on this election night. We've been closely following races across Indiana and Illinois for you. This evening, CBS has had special coverage of national races. We'll check back in on those in a little while, but first we continue live team coverage for you as local and state results come in. Jevin McCoskey and Hannah Fullman are following the future of Vigo County leadership through the commissioner and council races. Kit Hanley continues to watch what's ahead for the Vigo County School Board, and Blake Dahlier is standing by with Indiana State Representatives races. Vigo County got a delayed start to publishing results tonight. High voter turnout along with staffing issues in the clerk's office caused most of the delay. But we're beginning to get a wider picture now. News 10's Jevin McCoskey is live at the Vigo County Courthouse where votes are still being tabulated. Jevin has an update on what could be a historic race. Vigo County is on the verge of making history with one race still hanging in the balance. If current Democratic Commissioner Brendan Kearns is voted out of, of District 1, Vigo County could see its first ever all Republican commission. In the most recent update of counted votes, Mark Clinkenbeard leads the way with 51.3% of the over 18,000 tallied votes. Brendan Kearns is close behind with just over 48%. Only a little over 24% of the casted votes have been tallied up until this point. Now I have been in contact with both candidates leading up to the election and hope to have an update for you on News 10 Nightwatch. Reporting live at the courthouse, Jeff McCoskey, News 10. Turning to Vigo County Sheriff, current Sheriff John Plassey faced Aaron Loudermilk. Plassey has only served one of his eligible two terms. Right now, there's a wide gap between the two. Plassey is ahead by 25 percentage points. Several local sheriffs in Indiana hit their term limits this year. That means we'll see several new sheriffs in office at the turn of the new year. Let's take a look at the contested sheriff races. We start in Sullivan County where Clark Cottom is currently sheriff. It was a close race between Chief Deputy Jason Bobbitt and Lieutenant Billy Sneed. Bobbitt pulled off the win tonight with 53% of the votes. Now we take a look at the Vigo County Council where four seats were up for grabs this year. That means half of our next council could be all new faces. News 10's Hannah Fullman is live at the courthouse with the latest results. Hannah? Patrice Rondrell, that's right. There could be a number of new faces on the Vigo County Council, and we are learning just how likely those chances are right now. Currently, there are four Republicans and three Democrats on the council, but the party majority could change with all of these new faces. Now, as of right now, we have about 25% of votes counted, and here's what the council race looks like. In District 1, Republican incumbent David Thompson is facing Democrat Jeff Fisher. Thomas has 55.6% of votes. Fisher has 44.4%. In District 2, it is a close one. Republican incumbent Brenda Wilson is facing Democrat Nancy Alsup. Wilson has 46.8% of votes, while Alsup has 53.2% of votes. It's also a close race in District 3. Here, Democrat incumbent Vicki Wager is facing Republican Ryan Cummins. Weiger has 51.8% of votes, while Cummins has 48.2% of votes. Finally, in District 4, Republican incumbent Travis Norris is facing Democrat Carlene Sackbun. Norris has 58.5% of votes, and Sackbun has 41.5% of votes. Now, fo votes are still being counted right now at this hour, and we are going to continue to get more updates throughout the night. For now, reporting live in Terre Haute, Hannah Fullman, News 10. Current longtime Vigo County prosecutor Terry Modisett was looking for another term in this election. Modisett seems to be walking away with a comfortable win against Johnny Vaughn. He first took office in 2007. Vigo County Judge John Roach is stepping down at the end of the year. Noah Gamble and Charles Johnson faced off to take the Superior Court District 1 judgeship. At this point, Johnson is ahead in this race by a narrow margin, as you can see. Judge Roach has held his position in Division I since being elected in 2016. He's been a champion of the Vigo County Veterans Treatment Court. Fourteen candidates are vying for a seat on the Vigo County School Board. There are four seats open for grabs. It's been a highly anticipated race this election season. News 10's Kit Hanley is live at the Courthouse Rotunda. She has an update for us now. Yes, Patrice Rondrell. Now, as you both said, this Vigo County School Board race has been highly anticipated the entire election season with so many candidates vying for a spot on that board. Now, whatever happens tonight, all we know is that next year there will be many new faces on that board. Now, let's break down what we have right now with the current results with about 25% of the votes calculated. 
In District 1, Eric Graves leads the race over Kerry LaBella. He clocks in at 8,120 votes, with LaBella at 6,318 votes. Over in District 2, James J.D. Skelton is taking the lead by quite a big margin early on. He is followed by Jim Bell. Now, let's move to District 4. It's an extremely tight race where only seven votes separates Clark Cowden and Ken Warner. Stonebreaker trails behind. In District 5, the largest race for a seat on the board, Rick Berger has taken the early lead by a huge margin. He is followed by incumbent Rosemarie Scott. Around 2,000 votes separates the two. Now, I'm going to be here throughout the night updating these boards and updating these results as soon as they come in for now. Reporting in Vigo County, Kid Hanley, News 10. Back to you. Now we turn to statewide races in Illinois. Downstate Republican lawmaker Darren Bailey and Libertarian Scott Schluter ran against Governor J.B. Pritzker. The Associated Press called this race shortly after the polls closed in Illinois. Governor J.B. Pritzker will keep his position another four years. He earned nearly 60 percent of the votes. At the state level in Indiana, Republicans have commanding majorities in both the state House and state Senate. With this election, Democrats were looking for a backlash from voters against the Republican-backed abortion ban. News 10's Blake Dahlier has been following the local representative races. He's live in the newsroom with the very latest. Blake? Patrice Rondrell, there's one state House of Representatives race that has had some issues today, so let's jump right in and take a look. That's the 45th district. It covers portions of Green, Vigo, and Knox counties, as well as all of Sullivan County. Republican Bruce Borders is the incumbent. In Vigo County, the independent candidate Cody Alsman was left off the ballot. Right now, Borders comfortably is winning this one. We'll closely follow what happens with that ballot error. But right now, Borders has a significant lead. Now moving on, House District 42. That covers parts of Vigo, Clay, Park, and Vermilion counties. That's where incumbent Alan Morrison, a Republican from Brazil, is facing Mark Spellbring. Morrison is up pretty significantly at this hour with 67% of the vote. Now on to the 43rd district, which covers Terre Haute and a portion of Vigo County. Incumbent Tanya Path faced Republican challenger Andrew McNeil. The latest update we got from Vigo County is that Path leads by just under 2,000 votes. Now heading east to District 46, incumbent Bob Heaton is facing Democratic challenger Curtis Cummings. District 46 covers parts of Vigo, Clay, Owen, and Monroe counties. You can see here that Heaton is also leading that race by quite a bit. And finally, moving on to District 63, that covers parts of Davies and Martins counties in the new 10 viewing area, Republican incumbent Shane Lindauer has defeated Democratic challenger Teresa Kendall. That race was just called a little bit over a half hour ago. So clearly there's a lot going on in these state house races here. We'll continue updating you on air and online at WTHITV.com. But for now, reporting live in the newsroom, Blake Dollier, News 10.